in this particular discussion here, we are going to be tackling what makes this particular individual tick. What makes her stand out? What inspires her? What motivates her? To keep you inspired, of course, uh, motivated and uh, knowledgeable in terms of what other people are doing. You know, maybe you may think that your situation is worse. You may think that you're going through something and we believe that through this discussion, strength of a woman, you are going to be empowered even to do more than what you are doing. And of course, welcome to this particular broadcast right here on Y254. I am with Beatrice Ngondi. Beatrice is the founder of Nyabeko Orphans and Elderly CBO. Can you Beatrice? Thank you. Or as some people say, Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you feeling? I'm fine, thank uh, you. Thanks so much for coming, I appreciate it. I'm so honored to be here. Yeah. And of course, uh, I welcome you from home uh, to be part of this conversation. Uh, join us as we discuss these issues that we are about to talk about. The hashtag as always is why in the morning. Tag me at Ram Aguko. The official station handle is at Y254 channel that is on all social media platforms. Now let's talk about the strength of a woman right here on Y254. And of course, uh, Beatrice, let me start with uh, your foundation first. What is this CBO all about? Oh, thank you so much. Our CBO is about transforming lives. Mm. Our main aim is to provide long-term care to the elderly and their often grandchildren mm -hmm. and extend it to vulnerable widows and the youth because as the name suggests, mm -hmm. they're, they're orphans, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we do not discriminate the age of an orphan. Yeah, yeah. So we have to extend it to the youth as well. Mm -hmm. So basically our aim is to provide long-term care to the vulnerable elderly persons mm -hmm. and their orphaned grandkids okay. with a vision to uh, have a self-reliant and uh, optimistic uh, innovations and initiatives and programs towards uh, aging and promoting mm. uh, nicer ways to have people live better lives. Uh, so uh, how do you end up picking um, those who you're going to be working with? Because you were talking about the elderly and the orphans. Yeah. Uh, how, which criteria do you use to pick out uh, uh, this particular group of people? We have um, an age cut of 70 plus. This is because... Uh, That's for the elderly? Yeah, for the elderly. So they must be 70? 70. 70 plus. 70 plus? Yeah, it okay. should be 65 plus, mm. but because of the resources that mm. we've, um, we've had so far, mm -hmm. uh, we do 70 plus. But... We are hoping in the near, near future, mm -hmm. we are going to have even 60 plus. But so for it's now it is 70. Yeah, for now it's 70 plus just mm -hmm. because of the resources. But, but then how, how do you pick them out? The we do, and the orphans? We do, uh, uh, we do sensitization. Mm -hmm. We have sensitization programs. Mm. And we also do baseline surveys, and we also work closely with the area administration, that is the oh, chief, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. And then uh, we also have um, uh, the, the community leaders, yeah, mm. that we approach and tell them, this is what we are doing, and these are the kind of people that we find are legible for the program mm -hmm. so yes mm -hmm. and anyone vulnerable within that age cut is always picked to be a member but of course we don't force on, on them well, it's, it's voluntary yeah so because so there are there are people who are 70 but they're well off okay they have their kin who takes good care of them and all mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the co-word is vulnerable and the orphans, they uh, also uh, the they're orphans, picked by the chiefs. When we were doing our baseline survey mm. and need assessment, we realized that um, 
most elderly persons, 90 plus percent, mm. have orphaned grandkids with them. Because we also realize that most of these heroes and heroines of our society tend to lose their kids and now are left to take care of their orphaned grandkids, yeah? Mm. So we realize that most households that we visited, we get an orphan living with them. So okay. we said we will give support to the elderly persons mm. and extend it to the orphans. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I love what you're doing because it, 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 it must take a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, you know, because you're, de you're dealing with a group that is so vulnerable yeah. and, and, and is in need of, of help in now one way or, or the other. Yeah. People that the society have left out. Yeah. So um, how is your experience, you know, when, when it comes to, um, you know, dealing with this uh, a group, there are some challenges that you, you, you're you facing. Yeah. And there are those days when you, I'm, I'm sure you, there are those days that you feel like giving up. You're like, ah, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. The, so many occasions you feel like, oh, this is just getting too much on me. Because... Mm. Um, it's it's been there. The the organization has been there. It was in, in it was initiated in 2016, but now legally registered as a CBO in 2018 to make it now legal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are several occasions when you called and you told so and so is sick. We need medical attention, urgent, and there you are. Sometimes you don't have up money because mm. you see. Before winning hearts of the people or before attracting people of uh, like-minded people mm. and uh, before getting resources from well wishes and possible funders and donors, you have to do it yourself. Yeah. So it has been a real, real hard, hard course. But I am there from 2016, mm. and we are doing it. Mm -hmm. So the initial stages, it was purely part of my salary. Every you are, month. You, you are taking, uh, you are funding it yeah. through your own salary. Yes, yes. That's 2016. Yes, 2016, 2017, until now 2018, when now we had to now legalize it, and now. Uh, bring in board members mm -hmm. so the board members you, they can help out and all that okay. then now through talks with our people my close family members my friends from all sorts of uh, uh, places and well wishes uh, so uh, it has been it has not been easy but you must be working with a budget you you, you must have been working with a, a lot of, um, you know, uh, activities that were draining you financially. It, it wouldn't have been sustainable with the, the salary. How did you manage to, you know, beat those challenges and uh, s get it running? Yeah, in a nutshell, uh. like the first year in 2016, we did uh, uh, keeping a grandma, grandpa warm at night. Mm. So... The campaign was about getting blankets for them. Okay. So I said, I'm setting 20,000 to this course, and I'm talking to my family members, and I'm talking to my close friends, and any other well-wisher, and I'm telling them, hey, I feel I want to, I want to do this. I want to keep up a, a grandma warm at night. Mm. I want to keep a grandpa warm at night. What do you think about it? It was very successful. We raised funds and uh, people came people came through yes and we bought around around 56 to 60 pieces so wow. that is wow. 2016 wow so when we came to 2017 the campaign was still there mm -hmm. and we raised now we bought more about 80 plus so from that uh, time mm. uh, there is also food you can keep them warm at night but if they're hungry, they will not even catch a sleep. They won't sleep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because... Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, 
we put a program on how we, we get food items on every three months basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so after every three months, we, we, we mobilize resources, we buy food items, no matter how little. Because in charity work, mm. there's nothing like little. So, so, so you're working with donors and, uh, and, and uh, volunteers? We're working with uh, volunteers mm -hmm. and well-wishers. Mm -hmm. The only very first time we got help, support, from a donor mm -hmm. is at the onset of COVID-19. Okay, okay. This is when a well-wisher just saw our posts or our Facebook handle and mm. she was like, hey, this is a good thing you're doing in the community. Mm. How can we help and all that? Mm. And then we engaged and I explained on how COVID had messed people around. You can remember how people were laid off. Yeah, yeah. And this was a possible uh, negative impact towards the elderly because now this, we were talking about people who are taking good care of them, yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, I am my mother's daughter. If I get laid off, it means my mother won't have food. Yeah. So we had people being laid off. We and, had and, 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 and at this time, sorry, even as you proceed, at this time, were, still, were you still funding it with your own salary? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, Proceed. like uh. setting part of my salary on a monthly basis mm. and then adding with whatever little I get from and friends. And it's COVID. Yeah, it's COVID. Okay. It's COVID, things are down. And then this, this, this lovely person comes through and we get donations from, from her mm -hmm. of, of about one point something million. It was actually 1.032 million. Wow. And this was now our breakthrough. Like, it was so nice because we fed over 150 families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was, in, it was food enough for about three months or so. Mm -hmm. So that has been our biggest donation ever. And uh, right now we still uh, contribute, the board members do. Mm. And of course, I do as a director okay. and okay. well-wishers do. Mm -hmm. I have a very supportive family. Uh, and now, even as you talk about, uh, about the support system, uh, earlier on you're mentioning that there is nothing that is either too little or too much. Yeah. Um, how do you gauge between all these things that uh, you, you've been acquiring and, uh, you know, to be able to, to know in terms of the distribution rates in terms of, uh, uh, you know, um, ensuring that there is equity and equality among all these people. I'm, I'm sure that must be a, a very difficult task also. Uh, uh, that, I would say, is not so hard because mm. each and every person beneficiary within our program, mm. we know their background. Okay. We know... This is Mama Rosli Dangondi, for mm -hmm. example, that's my mother. Mm -hmm. She's 82. She has two grandkids or one. So we go to Mama, uh, maybe Rose. Mm -hmm. She is this, she has this dependence. So when we're doing contribution or distribution, I mean, we look at a family setup. Somebody who's got like, for example, I have uh, our, one of our beneficiaries is a blind grandma. She's called Rizpa Andiro. Mm -hmm. She has seven grandkids under her watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is a person that I give much, like, uh, a more amount than somebody who has one grandkid. Yeah. You're getting my point? Yeah, I get you. I yeah, get so you. that, like, mm -hmm. we ration, we see, mm -hmm. we look. And 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 and, and uh, even as you 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 do the rationing, yeah. Um, I don't know if 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 there's uh, this biblical principle that uh, uh, you, you also apply there. You see, in the Bible, there is uh, one that says, "Whatever the left hand does, the right hand should not know. Mm -hmm. Whatever the right hand is receiving, the left hand should not know." Um, do you have that kind of principle where now where each one doesn't know where uh, how much the other receives? 
or is it no, an open book? This is an open book. Mm. And we, you know, we talk to them. They know each other. We have Nyabeko days, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. They know each other. This person knows that Rispa is there. And the other person knows that Roslida is there. Yeah. And the other person knows that we know each other. They know each other because the project is still within a community. So th th there must it's be this principle of love that is being built Yeah. There. Yeah. Our motto is spreading kindness. It's all about love. It's mm -hmm. Yes. And we, t we, we actually teach them and sensitize them on the need to be neatly close together through mm -hmm. love. Wow. We, are, wow. we tell them that this is all about love. We are just here to support you. We just want to see you beautifully living in your latter days. Because mm -hmm. you know the elderly, they are close to yeah. yeah. So we're yeah. taking good care of them mm. towards their end of life. Mm. Yeah. Because we feel they are blessed. Some of us are just dying prematurely, God forbid. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. by default or by God's glory, they are there. Now, how do you ensure that some of these principles, because they do come from an individual perspective also. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, 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 what are those pillars that you feel are very important that most of these, m most youths need to be having growing up, whether you're an orphan uh, or whether you're facing a particular challenge here or there, that those pillars that you believe are essential for somebody? Yeah. I would say that uh, kids grow up emulating more mm. than learning. Yeah. The person who brought me up, uh -huh. who stands as my dad, because my dad passed on when I was 11, I have em emulated a lot from him. That's mm. my brother. Like, he would tell you, be kind. He would explain that further and tell you, if you are kind, you cannot harm another person. Mm. And by harming, I mean, or he meant, be it a physical harm, be it emotional harm, yeah, mm. be it mental harm. If you're kind, I'll look at you, Ram, and before I do something bad to you, I'll ask, what if it was being done to me? Mm. You know, mm. the principle of yeah. kindness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if you're kind in life, every other thing becomes beautiful. Because if I want to harm you, even in an office setup, if I come pick you by row, I'll ask myself, if, what if it was me who left my biro here and missed it the next time I'm coming? Mm. So that is the spirit of kindness. A very important pillar. Everybody needs a to have that pillar. A very important pillar. Once you're kind, mm -hmm. everything flows. And once you're kind, no matter kind of disagreement you have with any other person, you'll be reminded again, what if this was me? Because we are prone to disagreement and all that. Mm -hmm. But we can always handle them with kindness and love. You're getting me. I get you. I would quote, "Do many kosea, yes, mm. but pia mimi na izaku kosea, na niki kosea na zapenda vipi uni handle." You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. I should handle you how I ought to want yes. to be handled. Yes. So and and you're teaching and you're teaching these yes. principles. Yes. To the elderly. Yes. And to and the orphans. And their caregivers, uh, the two orphans, the elderly and caregivers. Especially, caregivers too. Yes, the caregivers. Because like anything you do, an mm. extra thing you do to another person, you find it as a burden. And that is why most parents suffer neglect. Because my mom gives birth to me and it's only fair when they get old or eight, mm. I should turn the love in equal measure. And love her back. 
My mom was a business lady mm -hmm. all her life. Mm -hmm. She's 82 years today. Wow. 82? She raised, yes. She raised up six kids and all that. And all wow. maybe wow. other dependents from, from other people. Mm. But right now, if I didn't learn the, the, the pillar of kindness and love, I might not even return it to her. Mm -hmm. I'll see myself or with my personal family as the first priority and I might even forget about her. Do, do you believe that, that principles that are in a woman are the ones that bring up the society? One particular individual, one woman, for example, the mother in the family, the principles she has can establish the whole family yeah for example you being the head there at your cbo the principles you have as a woman yeah. they are the ones that are establishing the whole cbo do yeah. you believe that it is upon a woman to know that her principles can affect uh, uh, everybody around her in a very long term way yeah true true mm. true true because most of the time if i would say leadership yeah mm, mm. What I have, or my principles, my values as a person, reflects out. I mean, if you are somewhere working and you are a head or you are a leader, mm -hmm. how you treat people around you will either make you organization or maybe your department or a particular thing that you're doing. Mm -hmm. It makes or breaks. Makes or breaks. And will... It, it, it brings the positive picture or the negative picture of it. Wow. Yeah. Because if I'm not kind as uh, the director of Nyabeku, if I mm. don't have values that uphold humanity mm -hmm. as a director of Nyabeku, yeah. then I'm, 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 I'm bound to fail. It's me who will sit them down and tell them, you know what? we have to check, like we have to have a constant check on each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Today it is in the morning. Have I checked on this person? Because you, if, if you may agree with me, the elderly persons uh, have their age onset related illnesses. Yeah? Exactly. So we know ma, ma, this person is maybe at, has arthritis mm -hmm. or maybe has high blood high pressure, blood pressure and all that diabetes you know those yes yeah these are uh, lifestyle diseases that live with us mm. and if i don't check on if she had uji to help her with her medication mm. then i'm not doing the right thing and, and for you to check you must have that heart yeah the the, the heart of actually thinking about someone yeah. else even as you're eating your own food, yeah. has someone else eaten? Yeah, charity work is about the heart. Philanthropy is about the heart. Always your muka and subui na uanze. Because it's something that just tells you, just do it. But there are those days that you felt like giving up. Yeah. When there are no funds. <laughs> <laughs> no funds, no what? resources, you've been called, somebody's sick. And then especially, let me tell you something. There are times that you break. You break down. You break down. Especially when you're called and told, you know what? You've lost, we've lost so and so. Have you, have you ever gotten to that point where you've broken down and cried? Yes, I've cried so many times. Because you know when, <laughs> there's a say that says, if you share a meal with somebody, you share part of yourself with them. You bond. Yeah. And remember, they see me as their only hope. Because we, we, when, when you give somebody food when they are in dire need of food, mm. or maybe do a medic because we usually have medication, well, well, uh, medical camps for them, free medical camps mm -hmm. for them, yeah? So if you make somebody know that they are there for you, then they'll cling on you. Yeah. So whether you have or not, their they first will. and number one person will be you. Will be you. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. You're strong, man. You're strong. Yeah. You're a strong woman. So, 
you and you have to show them that yes you value them mm. and what makes them happy the most is letting them that know that they are valued what, what are some of those um, notable achievements that uh, you've managed to have over the years since, right. since you started yeah. those things that you remember and just put a smile on your face yeah. and you're like wow yeah <laughs> all glory to god yeah my the food distribution bit is i find it just normal it's mm -hmm. like me giving my babies food or something yeah or whether it's adopted baby or whether it's my own baby mm. it's like just giving maybe my sibling food yeah it's just like giving my mother food mm -hmm. yeah because I cannot eat and my mom hasn't. And now it has extended to Yabeko. Like okay. a month goes and I'm like, okay, what is next? Mm. The second month, the third month, and I'm like, they have to eat, you know? Yeah. So the food beat is, people find it as an achievement, but mm. I find it as something to normal. me, it's something normal because, yeah. There is this particular time that we built a better decent house for a blind grandma. So when we went for a consent, mm. at least her consent, because yes, be they are house. elderly, yes, okay. but you ought to like get consent from them. So that you can build the house? Yes. You don't go to somebody's you don't compound. Just surprise them? No. You <laughs> cannot go to somebody's <laughs> compound and just yeah. start doing things. You have mm -hmm. to go and talk to them. Yeah. Ask them, are you okay with this house? Yeah, you know? Or would you love a better one? So we are here to help you set up one. Mm. And that woman told me she's been waiting for God. Wow. And wow. She's seen God walk. Those were her exact. We have, I think we have a video on that, yeah? She said, I have been waiting for God for such a long time. And today it is. Because this elderly grandma has been blind all her life. Ever since she was in class. Not class, I mean, two years old. She's been blind. Mm. Of, of course, she was blessed with kids, but right now she's left with one son who is also struggling. So when we went there and told her, your dear, and what she does, she sings in the village market for help, for support. Wow. And let me tell you something, um, Ram. It is not every day that you go to a village market to sing and get help. Mm, mm. So have you imagined when she, or maybe it rains that day. Mm. People have gone to the market, yes, but it rains. Can't we are usual mm. place it's where wet. usually, yeah, your usual spot has been rained on. This is a blind grandma who uh, for a long time, has been uh, uh, using or uh, yeah, working closely with her grandkid, her grandkid to help her walk through the, vi the village. Wow. So we went for her consent mm. and she told me, I've seen God. I've waited for God for a long time. You are, God has answered my prayer. Today. And I've seen God come. Mm. And then she, she told me, if only God would give me eyes to see you. But of course, she knows wow. my voice and mm. she knows my mother. She knows my family. Mm. But you see, she's blind. She cannot see me. But I said now that is why Nyabeko is there. We're there to, to be eyes for the eyes like the blind. That must yeah? have been a touching moment. Very touching. Everyone cried. My goodness, I, I, I am touched myself here. I'm like, <laughs> People cried and she wow. started singing. Uh -huh. She sang there? She, yes. And you built the house? Yes, we did. Right now, is it standing? Is it yes. Yes, we did. 
that that was now part of my leave allowance so i dedicate wow. my leave allowance every year for for a better decent house for the elderly wow yes I, 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 and I, right I, now in October, because I usually I'm always on leave in October, uh, uh, right now we are going to build another one. You're going to build another one? Yes. Where? Do you have a visa, found a place? I will join you. <laughs> God is good. Thank you. So, uh, have you found a place? To do what? To build. The project is in Homer Bay. Homer Bay? Yeah. So wow. we, are building, we are building them in their houses. In their homesteads, oh, I mean, oh, okay. in their homesteads. Okay. So we okay. go, you know, Luo community, most, mostly we believe in people living in their homesteads. Exactly. Boma. Boma Yamutu, yeah? yeah? So you go there, see a, a, a bad house, request them if you can upgrade it or build a new one. So you build it. So you find a place that Haina Boma because of the, the local community, they, 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 they need to be that uh, main this, house. These elderly persons yeah. have their homesteads, yeah? Uh -huh. So if you find one who's got a, a bad house, you upgrade it. You either upgrade it, if it is upgradable, uh -huh. we either upgrade it, uh -huh. yeah? Or build a new, ha a new one. So uh -huh. an example of the elderly one, the, the blind one, we built a new one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, um, I'm touched. I'm touched by what you're doing. It's so inspiring. And it, it makes me feel like, you know, we need to appreciate the stages that uh, God puts us through. Yeah. And we need to appreciate who we are. Because I'm looking at that blind lady, you know, making a prayer. I wish I could see you. Yeah. I wish I could yeah. just see your it face. Was, it was. It was exciting and, and sad you know that you can lack words to even describe it. Yeah. yeah and she she cried i saw her cry you know i had never seen a blind person cry like wow. i didn't even know whether the tears can fall it was yeah it was such painful it is, uh, when you interact with people and uh, you go to the society you yeah. go to you know the, the, some of these organizations i'm sure you you, you approach you, you must approach someone and say you know i have this cbo come join me yeah what's the reception from the society on this kind of Ram, let me tell you charity needs just like i've said it's it's, it's from the heart yeah mm. you will approach a million people i've approached if if i give you <laughs> at least I'm, i can even lose count <laughs> if I give you a list of people I've sat with, uh. the way I've sat with you and giving me appointments, uh. Hadi, I have to deplete like my off days. You know, we are, we are entitled to 30 days leave days, yeah? And if you want to go on off duty, you have to sign somewhere that you're leaving mm. and now you, your days are deducted from your main leave days, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you sign an off day, go meet somebody who had promised you heaven to deliver nothing i'm telling you but now <laughs> it's it's never catching up like una catch catch mm -mm, doesn't discourage you mm -mm. doesn't piss you off i will come if you tell me today to come again i will come what and what if they don't uh, deliver see sasa when when you feel now it's you know, you have to also know how to bo uh, read body language, yeah? Mm, mm. Or maybe if, if you're a consistent person, if you know how to shikanisha things, yeah? Uh. <laughs> They're like, Ram told me this today. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, or, or, me, or yesterday, me. Today he's told me this. And then I'll come tomorrow. So I, 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 I closely need them yeah mm. so i look at you observe the patterns yeah yeah and then na chana tunayo sasa so i just go mute i the have reception. i have i have presented proposals somebody you meet and tells you this is a good cause i want to i want uh, to help yeah do a proposal i've done i have done quite a lot 
But let me tell you something. <laughs> what I know is this, Ram. Yeah. If God Almighty knows that whatever I'm doing is from my heart, mm. and I also believe that a course, if it is a worthwhile course, mm -hmm. then it is written in heaven. And one very day, one very day, it will be successful. Because you are not doing it as unto man, but as unto God. If, 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 if this thing was just about doing it, then I don't really think I would be doing it because I'm there for my mother. So the reception that you get from people is neither here nor there. It's neither yes, not, no, no, it's just something that is it, not. Yeah, ikuapo katikati. Like, bring this, bring this, bring this. I have a friend that I have written proposals. I have made reminders. But you, you have to keep, keep going. I you have, have to, gone there. You have even, to keep sending. I have gone there even when I don't have fair to get there. I'll talk to somebody and his idea. You know, there, there is also this bit of charity work that people think you have money. Mm. <laughs> charity is not about you having money. Yeah. People have money. What you are going to pay, sir, Ram? Mm. And it doesn't even bother them. And you cannot blame them because it is not something that has been put in them. They, they have money, but they are not giving. They have money, even but they don't Even to their help. immediate families. Even to their immediate families. You've never seen people have big bungalows, big marshonets, big palace, palace, palace houses. Mm. And the other, even the next neighbor, or even your, your real brother or sister is it's dying suffering. next. Yes, and suffering. Even your own mother. You've never seen people de neglect their own parents. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen them. So many people. Yes. So charity. And they shut the, they shut the door on you. Yes. You ask for a job. Yes. They can provide, but yes. they don't. Yes. So charity is like that. That's so this theory of, hmm? of, of charity begins at home. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if there's no home? Charity is just like that. Like, <laughs> now when you force Mutu, <laughs> you cannot... Force? Yeah, no. How will you force <laughs> somebody? See, just like, you know, mm. over the years I've been learning a lot, yeah? Yeah. I'm learning a lot. If something happens negative and I'm like, okay, probably I'm trying to give this person rice. Oh, no. Probably I'm giving this person omena mm. and they disguise omena and that doesn't mean that I will not take omena. Mimi naipenda. You know. Mm. Yes. I am, I am made aware that uh, you have um, different activities. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can just mention a few that maybe we are, because during this discussion, we might have mentioned, mentioned some of the activities that you do. Mm -hmm. um, are there those activities that we have not mentioned during this discussion that you would like to uh, put across? That we offer? Yes. Yeah, we do. Mm. We, last year, we, we, we launched uh, something called Nyabeko Sunny Crampy Days for the girl child. Mm. Vulnerable girls and and young widows, that is sanitary towels wow. to the vulnerable girls. Mm. Because you see, we have orphans who are aid. Mm -hmm. So we support them as well. Wow. So we went to a girls' school and took sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's also part of us. We, we distribute sanitary towels mm. to, to vulnerable girls. And now you have a big project coming up. Yeah, yeah, not even uh, coming. <laughs> <laughs> it has started. That's no. Huh? How? It, Let me tell you something. Uh, As we speak, yeah. We have zero budget for our biggest project. Zero. Zero zero shillings. <laughs> this is. <you> know, <laughs> Let me tell you something. Somebody tell me. There's an elderly woman who happens to be my friend. Uh. 
I don't know why I'm missing the name. One day she told me, Beatrice, you know what? Uh -huh. Show God what you have and yes. let, let him work with that. Beatrice, you are a believer. Na akaniambia, uh -huh. Moses had a road. And that is what God said, use that road. God asked him, what do you have in your so, hand? Ram, mm. I told one of our board members, an engineer, Fred mm. Ogino, mm. I told him, Fred, you know what? Uh, we, we, I feel like we need to have a support center. That is the biggest, biggest project, yeah? Yeah. We should be having a support center where we can, like, harmonize our things. Having caregivers in every homestead might be very difficult for us even to sustain because they also need to be appreciated. Mm. They want reimbursement. They need to be paid salary if we have money. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But if we have a support center, we are strictly, because the Luo community or many communities, because we are not restricting ourselves within Homer Bay County alone, we have started a, pro a process of now becoming an NGO from a CBO, because a CBO is a serves within a county. Mm, mm. So we want to be an NGO so that we go outside Homer Bay. Right now you're, with the, you're located at Homer Bay. Yeah. W what's the location, um, the, the name it's of the location? It's called Kagan. 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 It's yes, it's you are from Ram Kagan. Yes. I have friends from Kagan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where it's, you are. Yes. And, and you, want to, you want a big center. Yes, support center. We have land that has been donated to us. One point one acres for Nyabeko. To to build a support center there. And so, you are, and your budget is zero. Yeah, we have zero. And, you know, I sat down with one of the board members who is an engineer from mm. Kisumu. Yeah. And I told Fred, can, you, can we design one? And we designed. Mm. It's a three-story building. I know you'll ask me why it's a story building and it's meant for the elderly. It's because we have, we do, we have young widows. We have the youth. And we want an old run center, which can also be a resource center you, for, I, the, I, for, the, for the students who can come and get trained. We have the- Like a school? Not a school per se, mm. but a resource center where mm. we can do hands-on hands -on work. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. the skills work. So are you, are, are, are you meaning, do you mean that, you, um, are you going to change from orphans and the elderly to no, deal with others? We or are not. Or how are you going to expand we are not, this now? We are not changing. Mm -hmm. What I mean is this, mm -hmm. the, the elderly persons got no strength. Yes. To do hands-on work. Mm -hmm. So we want them, we want to have them at the base and the ground floor. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Where the hospital will be, where their recreation, recreational rooms will be, mm -hmm. where they'll have their, their dining area, wow. mm -hmm. where they'll have their rooms there. Yeah? Those who are, ab strictly those who are abandoned. When you want a kin at all, wow, those wow, who are neglected, wow. and probably those who are sickly, when you want to need, you know there are people who are suffering from stroke. Ebu ni ambie mtu wakona stroke, ako kwa boma yake peke yake, hana kin at all. The neighbors will not give me a hundred percent surety that they're going to take care of that elderly person. They cannot. They so cannot. we want a place mm. where we will incorporate this neglected, mm. the abandoned, the most sickly, and those who don't have kin at all. So we will have them there. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then now, the widows that are also under our project, mm -hmm. we want to now give them something to do. Is it a sewing? Wow. Class, yeah, mm. sewing classes. Can they do basketry? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Can they do pottery? Can we have chicken rearing there? So that we slaughter some for the elderly, they eat. Yeah. And some we can <laughs> even sell for them. Yes, because yeah. if we sell cuckoo, we get breakfast, we get milk for the exactly, elderly. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Now this, we, is, this is a big project. Yeah. You we, managed to talk to the engineer. And he designed it. We have the design. 
with that we have the architectural build we have the structural bit we have the the bqs yeah mm. everything set wow and this was done mark you this was done even before we got that donation the, the land donation <laughs> see i'm telling you you're working by faith what do yes <laughs> How did you manage to do I'm all telling, this before you, you even acquired the land? I'm telling God, even before, trust you, Miram, this has been my course. This is my calling. This is my purpose in life. Because even before we had a website, I'd written notes on how the website would look like and what I would want to have there. So even the person who did our website was like, hey, Beatrice. I, was just, I just sent him. So he, he was just copy-pasting. Mm. Yeah. I told uh, God, this uh, is what I want. So no matter how many years it will take, the support center will be there. You must have a vision. Many people lack that. Yes. A vision. Yes. If, even if you do not have the resources yes. and the facilities, have a vision. Have an idea and write them down and pray. What you want tomorrow, Rami, you start today. If you want to be somebody in five years, mm -hmm. yeah? I got employed when I had my diploma from KIMC. The very first year, I went back to the university because I said one day I will be in a level where responsibilities will be bestowed to me. And one of the qualifications would be a degree. <laughs> Beatrice? Yes. What? Yes. You get employed as an assistant, uh -huh. and then you're like, okay, yeah. I'm seeing my bosses and I admire them. I'm really inspired. But how can I be th like them in the near future? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to go for that. So I got employed in March. By May, I was in class for my degree, University of Nairobi. So <coughs> now, I don't know if, if the, it would be fair to even ask this. What are you going to do now that you have zero <laughs> <laughs> with a big project? O what is the plan? Now? God will provide. Don't add anything else. God will provide. I know there are people coming and God will send them. Every time I pray, I tell God, go to the offices that I cannot be able to go to. Go and talk to somebody there, just like you now. Did you know that you'll ever meet Beatrice Ngondi somewhere? No. You were told at 9 p.m. and you said, okay. Why? Because God came to you. You would have said, oh, let me think about it. Mm. Yes. Because 9 p.m., I'm very sure you had some, you had your program set. But you said... All right, let her come. Don't you see that is God? Because 9 p.m. and you need me for an interview at 7 in the morning. You're supposed to start sleeping to prepare yourself for the following day. But what did you say? Let her come. So you believe you have this strong faith in God. Yes. You know, God will provide the resources. Yes. And this big project yes. will no longer even be called big. <laughs> you know, it's not my project. It's for humanity. Mm. And, you and humanity is from God. So let him work things out. Let him use me as a vessel to transform lives. But I, want, I, I, um, I want us to, to, to um, for somebody who wants to get a hold of you yeah maybe there is somebody and 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 i know you've you've had what beatrice is, is is doing a very strong woman maybe you want to support her if someone wants to reach out to you yeah in a way or, or the other mm -hmm. how can they do so we have our website that has all the information mm -hmm. we have our official official lines mm -hmm. we have our official uh email address we have the lines are also connected to WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. So it's just www.nyabeko.org. If you go on Facebook, you'll find us, Nyabeko Elderly and Orphans Compassion CBO. 
Once you just press Nyabeko, mm. you'll have you'll get hold on me. Say the website again, www. Nyabeko.org. Mm. Yes. And that's the, their website? Yes. Check it out. Check it out. And on Facebook is Nyabeko. Yeah, Nyabeko Elderly and Orphans Compassion CBO. If you dial Nyabeko, you'll just definitely get us. Sisi Tupo, Tupo, <laughs> like we we are ready to we are ready to serve, and then we we don't discriminate. Yeah. Right now, I, I'm I'm so I'm so I would say that I'm I'm just and this is why I'm saying all this is about God, because recently my niece calls me mm. and tells me, I want to be, I want to be part of Nyabeko, the youth session, and I'm like okay. What would you want to do? And then he's like, I want, I want, I want mentorship. I want to mentor, mentor girls. I want to, I want to go for, I want to rally for funds, for sanitary towels, for, for inner garments, for the, for the girls and boys. And then I'm like, okay, wow. So how would you want to do it? This, this baby tells me, I'm designing a t-shirt to that. I'm, I'm doing this. I'm talking to my dad. I want to do, and then she's like, I want to meet you. Mm. And then she schedules a meeting in town, and she's there with 12 girls from different colleges. From University of Nairobi, from Tr Strathmore, from, from different colleges. Wow. And I'm there, and they're like, you know what? We want to, to talk to girls. We want to tell them the need of, of education. Mm. Yes. Mm. And they did it. Yes. And now we are in the... She, she designed a logo for themselves, so they call themselves Nyabeko Youth Department. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, this, this is... <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm looking at the elderly, I'm looking at the orphans, I'm uh -huh. looking at this. So, okay, God okay. has brought... A department. A department that will take care of the youth. And I'm like, okay, God, you're working things. <laughs> and I can't be proud enough and happy. You know, oh that is God. why I'm saying our uh. support center. Aye. Kila kitu imewekwa. Vile hata inaka. Automatically. And yes, I'll show you the way it looks. Very beautiful. But we don't have even a single cent. Even fencing our parcel of land from, from the time we, we legally had now the processing bit mm. and having it. That, that is something we started last year in January or something. Mm. Even fencing it, Imenishinda Bado, because one, Ram, mm. am I going to give this elderly person's food or I'm going to fence that parcel of land right now? Which one comes first? <coughs> My God. Gani itakuja kwanza. Okay, we've been, we've been given a person. We even did, we planted trees over 2,000 all round. But now, zimekulua na ngombe uko kote because I just fancy But I say, okay, we'll plant again. But it's a, a very large parcel. 1.1 hectares. So I'm like, okay, am I going to fence this parcel or I'm going to buy, buy food? <laughs> or I'm going to give <laughs> the elderly, I'm going to keep them, I'm, I'm going to buy them nets, mm. you know, mm. mosquito nets, so that we prevent them from, from malaria. Yeah. So which one comes first? I know prioritizing can be a problem here. <laughs> <laughs> so ah. the land is there to stay. I have to take care of maybe an elderly person who is sick. She needs medical attention. Mm. We don't have an NHF cover for them. You balance all these things. Yes. You prioritize all these yes. things. And still find time for your own family. Yeah. And find time for your own job. Yes. But now the beautiful thing is that I have committee members. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't go home oftenly. But given a chance, I go. Every time I'm on leave, I'm there fully. Mm -hmm. Like now I'm starting my leave soon. I would be there fully. That is where we are going to build another decent house for an elderly person. <laughs> and now as we plan for Nyabeko Day in December. Wow. Nyabeko, so, Nyabeko Day? Yes. 
there is, uh, you, you, what is that all about? Nyabeko, Nyabeko Day. Day. Yes, yeah. Nyabeko Day. We come, all of us, all the beneficiaries, all the board members, all mm. the friends of Nyabeko come together. Mm. We have meals together. We have food for them. They carry home. It's like a celebration. Yes, Nyabeko Day. So we have it the first weekend of every December. Last year we didn't have it because somebody conned us. Wa Kenya pia mkaye. Wa Kenya pia. Somebody conned you? Yes. Somebody co calls. Imagine somebody who knows me physically. Like, Mutu na Nicole na naniambia Beatrice. Now, because alikuwa na vai. Mm. MCA. Mm. <laughs> Uko ushago. Kagan. So he called. <laughs> Not kagan. Not kagan. <laughs> We so, don't, don't mention the... the no, the I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. I'm, I, I'm just sharing this with you so, so, to, to show you the diversity of, of all these calls. So this guy calls you. He calls He's me. He's for an MCS seat. Yes, he and calls it, me uh, and, and tells me, Betty, you know what? I have a lot of things I want to donate to Yabeko. Mm. I have food, bags of, of unga. Yeah, yangano, mm. unajani Christmas, sasa inailekea. Uh -huh. And they, know, they usually know, people usually know. So, we always rally for, for some funds for now our Nyabeko day, yeah? Mm. So he tells me I have 50, so you, how many bags of rice, how many bags of uh, 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 packets of milk, you know? Corn man. And he tells me, <laughs> 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 and he tells me he also ha have uh, Two water tanks. Kubwa kubwa kabisa. Mm. Anataka kutuletia. And then he tells me, all he needs is transportation. Otuma pesa transport. Eh. So from, <coughs> ananiambia hizi vitu ziko kisumu. And he even mentioned a very, a very uh, prominent person that akasema uyo ndwali donate hizo vitu. So that I, I will not mention. So they are coming from Kisumu. Yes. So the goods are in, yes. Transport to, how much is that? So Ameanza can uh, transport in four five. So I'm like okay. Four four thousand five hundred yes. or forty five thousand. For four thousand five hundred. Okay. I can yambe you ni pick up moja na hizo vitu ni mingi anataka pick ups mingi. So but uh, <laughs> anasema to try to pick up moja so I. I tell the person in charge because I'm not the treasurer of the organization. Mm. So I tell the treasurer to send that money. Mm. Then after 30 minutes, it, it tells me where he was thinking he would get another pickup. I'm a ni tume tena. Tume ingine. Ni tume ingine. Ukatuma. So I can be a sister. So now you are two. You are paying two orders. Tume ingine. Aka tume ingine. So that is 9,000. Okay. So I've. After some time towards noon. Now, Alianza, I even have a rock voice record, my phone records, yeah? So, Alianza, Subui in the morning at 7. So, he calls again, he calls again, he wants another money. Then I'm like, no. Kuna shida. Eh. Now, to me, to Matisa. So, and even before I, 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 I gave an order, like I, I, I gave a directive, not a do an order per se, a directive. Mm. I'd called our project manager. Our project manager is, is in Arusha. He mm. works there. Mm. So I called Justice and tells him this is the information because I never, I don't make decisions without the manager's overview. Mm. Yeah. So I called Justice and tell him somebody calls and telling me this, what do you think? And I, I use, I have an air phone, so I use that phone, I call the person, and I put just as on, on voice call, mm. so that the guy talks, he listens. Mm. And as na uyu, uyu ajui kama just as you can ask you. So just as says, okay, because we know this person, let us give a benefit of doubt. So, and they conned, he conned us three days to the function. Wow. So, hey. and this part of this money was for our food. Because we, we eat, we, we cook and eat, 
but kuna ile yenye wanabeba wakienda nao nyumbani whatever it is that we've mobilized for the year hmm. wanabeba but now you must have now contingency plans or or, yeah. or 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 not just contingency you also need to be having plans as an organization that protects you you need to have and those modernities that protect you from those who mean you harm yeah so true we didn't know una just sister if there's something really bad about sometimes about charity work mm. because you have a clear conscience mm. you tend to believe everyone has a clear conscience <laughs> because you. you're kind you know you, you know you so because you're <laughs> kind and you've met somebody on several occasions and you've seen this is somebody i saw maybe i saw giving giving a particular church things you saw them kwa macho si eh, ati eh, I, I was even there in that function <laughs> i was there uh, so, uh, I want us to finish, the, to, to finish this, this discussion. All right. <laughs> Paul is by no, the way. No, I know problem. we are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's, it's good. Wow. See, see, these are the challenges. Mm. Yeah, the challenges. Um, I want to give you time to have a final word. And uh, maybe talk to Kenyans watching you today. Yeah, yeah. What would be your parting shot? You can look at them. That is your camera. Right. Uh, say just one word within uh, 30 seconds and then you wrap it up. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, we are here to serve the community. We are here to transform lives. It doesn't matter where you're from. We are hoping that Yabeko CBO is transforming to be an NGO very soon. It's in the process. And uh, what I can share with the world is that it doesn't have to be Nyabeko coming to transform lives within your community. Just take it as an initiative on your own. Within your area, within your community, there must be somebody who is in need. Could you kindly yeah, share part of yourself with them? We are here. Whoever feels like they think we are doing a worthy course can always come through. We have our website, www nyabeko.com uh, I mean www.nyabeko.org and then our Facebook is Nyabeko Elderly and Orphans Compassion CBO. We are here to spread kindness. Alright. Yeah, thank you so much. Beatrice, thank you so much for the work you're doing. And um, I wish you the best. Keep thank doing you. what you're doing. Keep touching lives. Keep, keep changing destinies. And uh, one thing that I know is God is not a liar. Yeah. So true. Thank you so much. Keep 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 doing what you're doing, man. Thank you. All right. Yeah. And thanks for coming. I appreciate it. And of course, I I, I want to encourage and welcome you all to you know follow her and uh, get in touch with her if you feel like uh, you know doing something and maybe God is touching you to do something. Do it. Apa, there's no money I've I've received to to to, to tell people this. Yeah. Apa na mm -hmm. This out of the hearing something good. The strength of a woman, yeah. Beatrice herself. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. And that brings us to the end of this morning discussion on strength of a woman right here on Why in the Morning. But remember, we still have more coming up your way. My name is Ram Maguko. Keep it Y254. We're taking a short break. We'll be back with more in a bit. <laughs>